Hi, I'm Lily. Nice to meet you. If you're not new here, welcome back. And if you read the title of the video, you already know what's, what you're here for. Uh, I am under the weather. And if you've seen other videos, because I am pre-filming a lot of videos, I'm going to be having the same look with the same voice, so I apologize if, it, apologize if it sounds weird. And why this video is very mellow, I'm not a very happy, preppy person. I am sick and tired. <laughs> Uh, as you can tell by my get readies with me because the past two I the only two I've done I'm not a morning person. I am very I am so dead to the world in the morning So I apologize if they didn't if they weren't fun and happy and excitable and just like very very chatty and I'm like I Appreciate people that can do that, but I am not that kind of person But if you guys don't mind watching those just let me know but yes, uh if you know, this is a everything that I have pan on currently. So this is from last year plus so far this year. So first we're going to start with eyeshadows and if you know already, if you watch my other videos, I have a project pan that palette and this is my pan that palette for 2023. So far I have one pan in the last shade, shade 10. That is the pin. And then the first eyeshadow I actually got this past year, this, the year that's begun in 2023, this is my Wet n Wild eyeshadow in brulee. It is a perfect little setting shade. It is what I use. Oh my god, hold on. You cannot see the pan. <laughs> it matches. Can you see the pan now? Hopefully. Yeah, it looks like it. But yeah, that was the first shade I hit pan on this past, this year, this year in 2023. And I forgot to mention, but this is my uh, Wet n Wild Call Me Sunshine eyeshadow palette. My first pan for the palette was that. Moving on to eyeshadow, we have the Wet n Wild Quad in Sweet as Candy. Here's what it looks like. They all have pans in them. This one has two pans like a weirdo because I was curious how long it would take but here is what it looks like it is my oldest palette and I really really do love it it's actually what I'm wearing right now just so you know so you can see also mind you I'm sick so if my makeup doesn't look the best that's probably why I kept it very minimal it's not a full face just very minimal every day quick and easy so yeah then we have the Essence Nothing Compares to Nude Eyeshadow Palette. And if you know, the name wipes off because of course it does. I have two pans. I have one pan right there and one down here. Here is what it looks like. Those two were also from this year. And then my last eyeshadow palette that actually has any... Um, pan is in my Maybelline Mad About Town eyeshadow palette. As you can see, I have four pans, one, two, three, and four. This is in my panels eyeshadows for 2023. So far, I've hit pan on two, maybe, th maybe three shades. If memory serves me right, there should be three. But I don't trust my memory, so at least two pans from this I've hit this year. Now moving away from eyeshadow, we're going to go with the blush. And for blush, this is my CoverGirl blush in Deep Plum. I know it says e.l.f. I just deposited it and put it in this one because I hated the packaging. Here is what it looks like. As you can see, the pan right there. So pan for this year. And then we have the Maybelline Fit Me blush in Coral. Here is what it looks like. But again, I'm just showing you guys all the pans I have. So there's that one. Then we have the Wet n Wild blush in Nudist Society. Don't know why it's called that, but it is. There's the pan. And before any of you say anything, these pans I know are rather small. But that's because 2023, I just want to focus on my might items. Hit pan on as many as I can before I dedicate myself to finishing any. Because finishing a makeup product is not simple and it does not happen like that. It doesn't, it's not instantaneous. It takes a very, very long time. So for now, 
I just want to use a hip pan into as many as I can before I decide to focus on just one. So the next one is Pearlescent Pink from Wet n Wild. Here it is. And now we're moving on. Uh, next I would say are my highlighters. For highlighters, I have my Wet n Wild highlighter in Bloom Time. And if you can see, hold on, if you can, mm, it's very shiny, right there, pan there and pan right there. It's hard to see because it's a highlighter <laughs> and the ring light does not like shiny things. And then we have the Wet Wild Blush, not blush, highlighter in Precious Petals. Here is what it looks like. It's pan is right there in the corner. Hopefully you can see that. I can. I don't know if you can. Then we have the Wet n Wild Highlighter in Blossom Glow. Again, it's in the corner right there. This corner right here. Don't know. There we go. You can kind of see that now. I don't know. The ring light doesn't like shiny things. Moving on, we're going to powders and foundations. First, we have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder in uh, Light Pale. This is what it looks like. There we go. You can kind of see it, like right there. Kind of, right? There we go. Now you can. Shiny. The little shiny bits. Again, small pan, I know. But again, I just want to use as much as I can. Then we have the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, Matte and Poreless Fit Me Powder, here. I know this isn't the most entertaining thing in the world, but listen, I'm just trying to get it done. <laughs> uh, I really like this powder. As you can see, the pan is right there. I don't know. I really enjoyed this. Both of these are good. Don't really like the texture of this one, but it does the job. And as long as you're not touching with your hands, you don't really feel the texture, so it's a okay. And then for powder foundation, we have the Maybelline Superstay 16 hour powder foundation. Here's what it looks like. You can see the pan right there. And then another one, but in a different shade, I have one that fits me now in one when I'm a little bit lighter. But here it is, another pan. And before you think I'm lying, I'm not lying. There's two of them. <laughs> there are two of them, so I'm not lying. I'm not making it up. Now for one more powder foundation. This is actually the, the foundation I'm trying to finish this year. Before it was just the hip pan, but I've hit pan on most of it. I have like two or three more that have to hit pan, but I'm like, I just want to focus on one thing right now. And as you can see, it's covered. It's covered because it's broken. <laughs> and I don't want it making a mess everywhere. So this is what it looks like, as you can see. Very large pan. Um, yeah. <laughs> I keep this in there so it doesn't spill and make a mess everywhere. But I'm very close to finishing it and I'm very excited. I'm not using it currently because obviously I'm not feeling well and I don't want to do a full face of makeup. But just so you know, I am panning this. I'm going to finish it. At least that's the plan. And now for powder again, we have the Joa Blur Perfection Setting Powder. Another baby pan, as you can see right there. Baby pan. Yes. It's a really nice powder, very smooth. I really enjoy it. I would recommend this. It might leave a little bit of white cast, so do be careful of that. But otherwise, it's very nice. I enjoyed it. It's really good quality. And now, last but not least, the final thing I have pan on the CoverGirl Clean Fresh uh, Translucent Powder. This one is the one that I am trying to finish. Here is what it looks like. As you can see, the pan is much larger compared to the other ones. And... Overall, I really enjoyed it. I'm really liking it. Uh, I'm not using it today. I used something else today. But 
it's it's been it's been very it's been nice it's been nice but uh yeah that is everything if you give me a second i will count never mind i'm not counting i changed my mind i'm not counting i do not have the time the patience nor do i want sh to edit anything so yay that's that's everything uh so far i'm really happy with the amount of pan i have in my in my collection that i have I'm glad I'm making use of everything that I have. I really hope that I can hit more pan on more items and definitely more eyeshadow. But yes, that was everything. Thank you for watching and I apologize if it's not as entertaining, but I'm not in the best state right now, so this is what you're getting. Okay, I'm not, I don't have the energy or like the happy, preppy, smiling all the time kind of a thing. Thank you for watching and hope you watch again. Bye guys.